Today, Unity's stock price is very volatile for numerous reasons. The first is they do report earnings after the market closes today. But secondly, and most important, they did receive a kind of a proposal to join companies with app loving. We can take a closer look. The stock price is up roughly 2.4% as I am recording the episode right now. And at one point, it was up over 7%. For those not familiar, Unity is in a merger agreement with Iron Source, but app loving wanted some loving too. And they were pretty much like, hey, don't look at Iron Source look at us instead and this is what we recommend and as a unity investor at the moment i do favor one over the other and we're going to take a closer look at why in today's episode so let's get started i do want to thank the motley fool for sponsoring this video and make sure to check out fool.com slash jose to get the top 10 stocks to buy right now so for those not familiar with app loving this is a leading marketing software platform that provides app developers with powerful integrated set of solutions like user acquisitions monetization monetizations and measurements. If you go to App Loving's website and you take a closer look at their products, you can see grow with app discovery, you can monetize with Max, reach your audience with App Loving Exchange, maximize your opportunity with Array, drive results with Spark Labs, and even measure with Adjust. So very similar to Iron Source, this is a this would be a merger agreement to kind of help that monetization, that user acquisition, those post game creation solutions that Unity has. I just wanted to take a closer look at some graphs and we can see in forms of trailing 12 months revenue, App Loving does have a lot more revenue than either Unity and Iron Source put together. If we take a closer look at cash flow from operation, it's pretty much the same thing. App Loving has way more cash flow from operations than Unity and Iron Source put together. So we can see App Loving is much bigger than Unity at the moment. And to me, that's probably one of my biggest cons about this merger proposal. If we take a closer look at cash and short term investments, App Loving has roughly 1.4 billion, but it does come in with a lot of debt, unlike Iron Source, which has lower cash but has no long term debt. And in my opinion, at the moment, I am preferring Iron Source balance sheet opposed to App Loving's. Finally, if we take a closer look at kind of quarterly year over year revenue growth, App Loving previously was growing at crazy, crazy levels, but now we can see a major, major slowdown. In forms of gross margins, App Loving actually has the lowest amongst the three. So there's definitely some pros and cons that come with this proposed merger agreement. If you are enjoying the video, make sure to hit the thumbs up. It helps so much with audience exposure. And I thank you. Thank you so much for it. If you want to support a little bit more, make sure to subscribe using my link at fool.com slash Jose. Some cool things about this proposed agreement is first, they are looking for the termination of the acquisition of Iron Source. So App Loving is pretty much being selfish and saying, hey, the only, you can only take one of us at the moment and we're the ones that are gonna give you the better results. App Loving actually proposes that Unity CEO become the CEO of the combined business and that Adam, the current CEO of App Loving, become the COO. If we take a closer look at the proposal, App Loving shareholders would roughly have 45 of the combined business where Unity shareholders would receive approximately 55%. On the other hand, app-loving shareholders will have approximately 51% of astounding voting rights of the combined company. And the reason I don't like this is because Unity, yes, they do have this monetization solutions, right? But this is not a company that's solely in the monetization business. And for that reason, I actually wasn't a big fan of the Iron Source deal as well. If we take a closer look at the Iron Source deal, Unity stockholders will own 73.5% of, of the combined company, while Iron Source will hold 26.5%. Now, Iron Source is looking a lot more attractive, in my opinion, compared to App Loving. But that's because I do believe Unity has so much more growth opportunities out there than App Loving or Iron Source. Iron Source definitely has that strong growth opportunity in the monetization business, in the user business, in that kind of app software business. And I do believe they have the opportunity to grow. But I do believe that Unity, even though they can grow in that market, they also have numerous, numerous other markets that they can expand into. And I do believe if they give up too much equity or they become a lower portion of that combined business, they give up too much of their creativity and other market opportunities. So if I, as an investor, had to choose App Loving or Iron Source, I would personally pick Iron Source. And the reason I pick Iron Source is because the combined business will still be roughly 73% of Unity. And it tells me that Unity will still be the leader in this kind of combined business, and they would have the true say of all the kind of exposure and market growth opportunities that they see. And if they choose App Loving, I feel like this is Unity giving up in all their other growth 
growth opportunities to just grow pretty much in this kind of user acquisition, user growth, user monetization business, which in my opinion is a good business, but not the reason I invested in Unity. So let me know in the comments below, which one would you prefer? Would you prefer the Iron Source merger or would you prefer the app loving merger? Take care, have a good day and see you next time.